Hey everyone, this is Dark Side XL here and welcome to a brand new video on Naruto Taboru Shinobi Striker. Where in today's video I'm just gonna do a review on the Madara DLC that came out a few days ago and just do a gameplay on him just to show off his various ninjutsu attacks on his ultimate and just to show off his combos and show off what he can do on a whole you feel me and just do an analysis on what I feel about his moves and the character on a whole so let's get started on the video shall we all right so uh Madara's, Mad the Madara DLC is not that bad as people make it out to be but really and truly it could really do some improvement and really and truly in my honest opinion for the for the like finals character for the season pass I would have expected them to do a lot more better but they, they didn't really do that well with this DLC I felt as if it could need a little bit more work and if this was the DLC that people were really itching to wait for to get honestly it's not that bad like I really love Madara on a whole because Madara has some of the best techniques so far he has a really good fire style jutsu that he has in his arsenal he has the majestic destroyer for him let me pull it off real quick and this move is so OP that it will literally snap you out for sun shield and not only will it do that but the move will literally break your defense upon contact and if anyone is in range of this technique it will literally catch everyone with it and this move this move will not only hit everyone but it has great tracking as well and it's one of the best moves in our in Madara's arsenal I have another move called the burning ash which literally stuns your enemy upon contact for real so look at this look at the damage that the majestic destroyer flame does I, I mean how can you hate this ultimate I see everyone using this ultimate online and it's crazy because like I never ever see such a move this overpowered in a game like shinobi striker like when I did my live stream on the move a lot of people was legitimately spamming this with in conjunction with the fireball jutsu and it made for a really awesome build one of my subscribers named Talit gave me the move to use and really and truly I never expected people to use it so early and I just knew that they were gonna combine this move with the fireball jutsu because it really works well and honestly it's a really it's an S tier move on a whole it has great shocking it does a lot of it does a lot of damage and it breaks guards and defense so honestly all in all a good move I'll give it a 9 out of 10 S tier class move let's move on to the next move so this is the burning ash which is, which is just another subterranean voyage but with this move he is able to like stun you upon contact so it's not really anything special it doesn't give you hell like the subterranean voyage but it does allow you to like burn your enemies and stun them upon contact and honestly I really wish that we would get the Uchiha reflection because it's one of the best moves that Madara has and I just feel like a move like Uchiha reflection would have been really great in Madara's arsenal because in this game you have people 4v1 in you, 3v1 in you, 2v1 in you, you get the gist so it would be really cool to see Madara actually getting a move that can be able to like counter some of these enemies and your ninjutsu attacks because like you have you will have attack types you will have defense types will literally come at you and spam snake just or whatever and if you use the goddamn the goddamn Uchiha reflection you can be able to reflect the attack back onto them and you could be able to do so many different other stuff like I don't know what they were thinking of but it, this DLC is just not it like they choose some of the worst moves for him they, they should have just gave Madara the orbital treatment but they didn't really give him that so if I'm gonna rate this goddamn move I'll just give it like a 5 out of 10 you feel me like the burning ash is just a 5 out of 10 cause it's just another subterranean voyage and really and truly I ain't buying that but what you just saw just now that was the heaven conceal for Madara in which he summons a meteor from the sky and hit your enemies down below but in the anime you'd expect him to like summon two meteors from out, from out of the sky or he would summon a bunch of meteors but that was after he get the power of the stage of the six parts but I'm talking about like Edo Madara you feel me in base 
like he will legit summon like two meters from out of the sky and hit your enemy from down below but in this game you would expect them to at least to take it off the anime for real and at least drop two goddamn meteors on you but no like he legit just drops one goddamn huge meteorite meteorite and legitimately anyone can just move out of range if they see the blue light come about come around them or if they see the goddamn red light come around them like the moment you see something like that oh they can easily see that okay i can evade this now or at least put on a move to like time it or a showering gun with a showering gun a rotation or it can use subterranean voyage probably to evade the move so i mean like it's it's not really all that great in my opinion like Madre has so many ultimates that he used throughout the anime that they could have just picked and choose from like he has wood style jutsu like he literally has harsh drama cells inside him and you'd actually think that yo he could have used a wood style leaf forest emergence just like the, just like when Hashirama did that against a turtle Kage, you'd expect them to do something like that. But I guess that's Yamato's move. But in this version of the Deforest Emergence, they could have made it whereas the trees attack you and literally just stab you throughout. Or a move whereas, okay, once you're trapped in a tree, he can literally just explode explodes the tree and you and you get and you literally take damage on a hole you feel me like that's just an example of something i literally want to see man and we didn't got that bro we didn't got that dude and honestly i'm just pissed off on a hole we could have also gotten like the perfect susano you know? in narta storm 4 in the heaven conceal he literally summon two meter like, like he literally chops you within a tree like what he will like what moderate will do is he will chop you in a tree he will use his heaven concealed and he will legitimately summon like two meteorites to crush you within that tree. Why didn't Shinobi Striker do something like that? Like legitimately that would be that would have been so cool to for you to like chop all your enemies like the moment he used it, you chop all your enemies in that tree and it literally just sends the two meteorites if one like if the first one at least he uh, misses the enemy that you know the second one will come and just hit them again so i mean some satisfaction there yo like we didn't got that bro and uh, that that's the thing that really pisses me off for real because really and truly we could have gotten some really good ninjutsu and ultimate samadra especially his perfect susano like i was expecting his perfect susano for real and we didn't got that bro or if they at least gave us his perfect susano whereas okay it's just a one chop technique in which in narta storm 4 he literally summons the perfect susano and then he just uses his susano to just slash all the mountains why didn't they give us that ultimate i mean like so many moves that Madara has and you choose to give us some of the worst moves. I'll say the Majestic Destroyer Flame is one of the best moves that we got from Madara. But aside from the rest, they're just a no on a whole, bro. Like, legitimately Burning Ash is just a copy and paste subterranean voyage. But the only thing it does is just stun you and it will literally just give you more time to combo into an attack. That's it. It literally just makes you hide, hide on the ground and literally just stuns your enemy so you can lead him into another combo. It doesn't give you back health. All you do is go on the ground and stun people. Like, legitimately, what is that? It's another copy and paste. You'd expect them to at least put up something really good for this DLC because it's like the final DLC for the Season Pass of Season Pass 1 because we're going to be getting a Season Pass 2 soon, but... They legitimately flopped Madara. I'm not saying Madara is a bad DLC, but he could have been way better as a character. Because let me tell you, the only good movie he has is Majestic Destroyer Flame. And during my live stream that I did a few days ago, I was using Madara and I love the Majestic Destroyer Flame. The fact that you can use that move and literally can break enemy guard. Like someone can be guarding in the ear and the moment you use it, it will shock you and hit your enemy and break their guard is really good to know. Especially when you know you have that one defense type that you're playing in and they're using sun shield every match once you have a range type and you're using majestic destroyer flame you just pop that shit and you instantly break your guard you instantly break the sun shield like so many moves that can break the sun shield now it just renders it just renders the move completely useless 
Man, that like Majestic Destroyer Flame is the only good move on Mara for real. I really wanted this Uchiha Reflection. They, they should have just gave Mara the Obito treatment because, I mean, in the anime, Obito literally just used the Uchiha style flame formation at least like one time on a whole. So he didn't really like use it completely like some people, you feel me? Like he didn't spam the move over and over, but he only used it once throughout the anime and they gave him that as a move within the game and Obito has so many moves that they could use. Obito could have had like another fire style like like that giant fire style whirlwind that he did in the anime but they gave him that as an ultimate. Man, I don't know bro, but they could have at least given Madara the Uchiha Reflection. But even though he used it one time, it's one of the best effective moves out there. Like, imagine someone comes at you in a goddamn combat match. Oh, and you're using Rasengan. You can just pull up your goddamn fan. And the moment you activate Uchiha Reflection, how the Rasengan and the, and the damage that you would take from that Rasengan backfires onto you. And just blows the enemy away. Bro, that would be so cool, dude. That would be such a great idea to add within the game for Madara. I mean, oh god, dude. Like, they messed up Madara on a whole, bro. I can't believe it. They legitimately copied another and a move from off the game already and gave Madara a subterranean voyage. When in the anime did Madara went underground and did a fire style technique, bro? Like, when? You can see that these developers are just lazy, bro. If you really want this game to succeed, then at least give us something that's worth talking for, you feel me? I mean, at least make Madara a goddamn attack type. You make him another range type, bro. You make Madara a range type. And I was I was saying to myself that Madara would be so great as an attack type. Imagine having his fire style as an attack type move. Because if you look at it, goddamn... Madara, like range and defense types have fire styles now, but attack types and healers don't. And it would be really cool to see Madara actually having a goddamn what? A move for real that actually like makes him a bit more formidable in battle. But it's whatever though. See, whereas I just stun my enemies and just move on the ground. And the thing is that I love with this move is the super armor that it literally gives you. That's all, like, for real, for real. But yeah, man, the Uchiha reflection, the fact that this man can just summon trees and legitimately hit you, or he could, like, summon a Susanoo and literally just slash you, he could summon two meters from out of the sky and hit you. Uh, come on, bro. He legitimately has a, a has a move whereas he summons multiple fire style jutsus. Oh damn Kakashi. But yeah man. He legit has a move that makes him summon like a bunch of fire styles and just hits your enemy with it. Like I'm like I'm legit right now. Like he legit has a move like that. But they didn't give him that for what reason I don't know why. And they copied another subterranean voyage and just give him that. Bro, that shit just legit pissed me off, dude. Like, this move is just another copying piece. The only thing it doesn't do is give you back health. That's the only thing the move doesn't do. It doesn't give you back health in the slightest. Man, I don't know, bro. But for the final DLC, you'd expect them to, like, do so much better. But they completely messed it up for me. Madara did no burning ash throughout the entire anime. The only person I know with burning ash is Asuma and Konohamaru. They're the only peeps I know with the goddamn Burning Ash technique, not Madara. And the Burning Ash technique is not a move that you use underground either. It, it's not a move that you use underground. So I don't even know why is it they actually did that for real. Like, that's one of the worst decisions they could have ever made for a game. Just as so they gave goddamn Orbiter the, the, the goddamn treatment with his Uchiha flame formation, they could have given Madara that. Because Madara used Uchiha reflection like one time in the anime and it was never used again. But Obito can use a move legitimately one time and they didn't even give him that. And that move is like the most effective move I've seen. And Madara, Madara could have been a whole goddamn attack type. But no, you gotta be a range. And a range, the range types have like off, like most fire style jutsus, range already have. 
So it just makes them even super OP than before, bro. So now, you're gonna see multiple fireball spams in one game. The disadvantages with this DLC is the fact that the bills that are to come, man. Like, how many times are you gonna see, like, a fireball hit you for real? Like, how many times? How many times are you legit gonna see a fireball hit you? Like, no time at all, right? E like, everywhere. When I did my stream, I legit just, what? I legitimately just want to fight someone and bro it's fireballs everywhere you feel me so that's one downside with this dlc is the majestic destroyer flame the tracking on it and whatever but man i i don't know bro i don't know man but he could have been way better bro especially his combo let me get into his combos real quick his combos are so garbage even Tsunade has better combos than Madara and Madara is a goddamn what range that character he could like Madara could have been a, a good attack type if they didn't mess him up could have been a great attack type because in the war this man was slapping people in the war dude like I'm telling you he was slapping for the ninjas left and right dude like with no difficulty with Taijutsu so you think that did actually make him an attack type whoop t do for me whoop t do for me man god damn bro look at this look at this dude he literally just spam shurikens all game for real no goddamn originality nothing ah another god thing is we got another subterranean voyage man another goddamn subterranean voyage we get a heaven conceal that will never even hit your opponent. I'm saying the stuff like this is just not good on a whole, bro. Ah, Kakashi, you were late with that combo. Man, that's I don't know, man. I've been ranting for so long now. I, I, I saw like a broken scratch record at this point, but I really wanted to get my point across. This DLC it only makes the players even play more cheap than before and the overclass builds like this like the overclass builds that you're gonna that you're seeing now are just the beginning because you're gonna get season two dlc for this game and i'm wondering who the characters are legit gonna be i'm wondering who the characters are legit gonna be for this one because with some op ass characters then man we're in we're in for a whole world of trouble here and it's not gonna be a good one He has like the worst combos I've seen so far of all the DLCs. Madara, like Jiraiya, even up to Jiraiya has good combos, bro. He has little to no good combos at all. Like legit, I hate his combos. I hate his burning ash. Like it's just another copy and paste of Subterranean Voyage. I don't care what people wanna say. So it's just another cheat move in general. He also has a goddamn uh, ultimate which will never hit your opponent. Man, like, I hope with season two we can at least get some compelling characters with better compelling movesets that will actually make us do something in these battles. Because, like, the four V1s need to stop, and the Uchiha reflection would make a great move just to counter that shit, but we didn't got it. So, if I'm gonna give this DLC a rating, a, a whole rating. It's gonna be a good 6 or a 6.5 out of 10. That's just me, bro. I would put it at a 5, but it's a good 6 or 6.5 out of 10. I didn't, I, I enjoy playing as Madara, but not that fun like Sonade. Not that fun like Sonade is like Sonade and Minato is like the best DLC characters I have ever played as. I, I, I'm gonna be frank with you. Madara, like, Madara is just ain't it. Like, I legitimately like Madara for his Majestic Destroyer Flame. That's only it. I don't like Madara for anything else but the Majestic Destroyer Flame. That's all. But, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you happen to come across the channel and you're new, please be free to subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you will be notified whenever I do another video on the channel. Please be sure to hit that bell for me. And give this video a thumbs up if you happen to enjoy it, as I said before. Comment in the comment section what did you like about the video. And give me your thoughts on this DLC and what you feel about it. 
but this has been my review i hope you guys are uh, enjoy the review and please be free to share this with your friends so that they can be able to like comment how they feel about it and can be able to like relate to me in terms of my pain for this dlc ah. so yeah definitely do that for me follow me on twitter link to that is in the description below so if youtube doesn't doesn't notify you on my videos just go on my twitter follow me on there i'll post my video links on my twitter so you can be able to like click on them whenever i upload my videos on the channel so you can watch my videos on time whenever i upload it so definitely follow me on twitter i'm a lot active on twitter so if you have any questions you can definitely at me on twitter and i'll respond to you right away subscribe to the boy debo balboa for the thumbnail of today for the thumbnail of today's video and please be free to subscribe to his channel for his awesome board to content and his other anime content on a whole and his anime gameplay so definitely subscribe to him and with that being said i hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you all for watching this is dark side excel out peace